Either way, we're going to have Travesty coming up here. He got shut down. Against Redeemer Z. Yeah, no. How, how rude of them. But regardless of that, it's going to be Travesty against Redeemer Z. We haven't even, Redeemer. We haven't even transitioned yet because that's how fast. Mamouche is quick with that. Look at how fast he did that. There you go. We got it eventually. We got it eventually. That's, uh, that's just how we roll here at We Bear Bears. And we, we not a bad thing either. I'm just glad that we uh, that we got it going eventually. Yeah, now, going Redeemer Z, he's not a guy that you want to be sleeping on. He's definitely showed his worth both in doubles and uh, he's come close to upsetting quite a few people in singles as well. Yeah, and you are uh, right about that. going up against Travesty, <laughs> looking to hold on to his PR spot. He's sitting at number 10 currently. That's perfect. Oh my gosh. And he really made that push for the for the PR late in the uh, series. Wound up beating Jen at uh, at Brotherly Love, the end, the very last day. And then uh, a week before that, I think he took out Spiro in bracket. So definitely some good resume building wins. And Travesty looking to get him off of the top. Redeemer's EDI's out. And now, uh, so Redeemer Z, you're a Mario going up against... <laughs> Probably, I mean, definitely one of the more uh, dominant characters, let's just say. What do you do in order to secure this victory? I'd say projectiles are your friends and Cape is your best friend. Mm. Nothing friendly about that forward smash. Fist of, uh, Fist of the Demon coming out. You don't got a friend in me. Nope. <laughs> you don't got a friend in me. Oh, travesty. <laughs> Looking for the two uh -oh. stock. He's sitting uh -oh. at 119. Oh, and no. Piling on that damage with those up airs as well. He's only taken 12% damage this whole stock. Uh, this whole dirty. stock for Redeem, uh, Redeemer Z, anyway. Meanwhile, Redeemer Z is sitting at 80 already. And now, just waiting in neutral is Redeemer Z with that back throw and eventually going to confirm the kill. Yep. But That uh, back throw is just. Mario's back throw is. God like us. Oh! Down air is going to drop the hammer on Redeemer Z and get the win for Travesty. Going up 1 0. Again, best of three action. Winner of this going on to face Luck, who beat Sonara 2 0. So, uh, Luck with his first uh, winner's quarterfinal berth in quite a while. That was crazy. So, Redeemer Z is going to have to reverse 2 0 as we go to Smashville. For game number two. I think Redeemer switched. Yeah, he switched to Lucina. He did switch to Lucina. So, Lucina. so that what does this uh now so what does this do for uh for for Redeemer Z as a whole? We don't see him go Lucina very often. I think I mean he's working right now, but I think it's maybe for the distance. To keep him far away. Because for Bale, she can't really come up close and personal if you got a sword to space her out. This is true. Hold the distance. And it's showing right now, actually. And even and even if she does get up close, it's not like uh, it's not like Marth where you kind of have to rely on those tippers. The damage is evenly uh, displaced yeah. throughout that sword, so I can definitely see. Uh, see, look at the sp see, see has for Redeemer Z. Oh, the witch time! It is way harder to get witch time in actual Bayonetta than it is in Smash. And the kill off the top for Travesty. He had such a moment. Oh, there oh, we go. And he gets it right back in the taunt on the platform. Come get you some, says Let's Redeemer Z. Let's go, Retired Z. And now Redeemer Z <laughs> trying to get whatever he can going on the stage here. Travesty having a devil of a time getting Oof. back to neutral, although he does eventually. Oof. Sitting at 31% damage. And Travis, the, oh no, the kill That's off the top like again, it. perhaps. That's it. And it looks like that is going to be it. And the ladder, Travesty climbing it and clawing his way into winner's quarterfinal. He secures the last berth in quarterfinal action, and we are set for uh, for that. Uh, it's going to be Norbit and Yoda Cage. Norbit, uh, of course, is our number one juice. Just entered as Norbit this week. Go figure. Yep. Taking on Yoda Cage, and we have known Yoda Cage to take games off of him, so we'll keep you abreast of that situation. Bad things looking to improve on the two straight fourth place finishes. He's going up against Raiga, former uh, former PR in quarterfinal action.